Some writers find it hard to write love scenes. So when they're telling this story, they may leave blanks in their writing uh, and decide to go back later and fill those love scenes in. Um, I don't particularly like that method because I think the love scenes should be organic and they should grow out of the storytelling and that you as a writer should anticipate those love scenes as well or as much as your reader would. And so that if there's a buildup in the storytelling. So you're anxious and excited about seeing these two people uh, do their first kiss or have their first intimate moment moment. Uh, you're excited about this. And when you're excited as a writer, it comes across in your writing. So I like when she mentioned that in, in her presentation. She also mentioned that uh, some love scenes can go wrong. And when they go wrong, they also tell you something about the characters. And she gave examples uh, such as what if you're in the shower and you're having this intimate moment with someone and then the hot water goes out? You know, how do the characters uh, react? This tells you something about them. Or if they're on a piece of furniture and the furniture breaks or malfunctions, what happens? How do they react? So I like those moments when she talked about the scene that can go wrong and how they can add an element of surprise and an element of excitement in the writing. Everything doesn't always have to go right. Uh, everything doesn't always have to be perfect. And I like that. She also mentioned language and she was saying, be um, particular in the language that you use with your characters. Uh, some readers don't particularly like certain harsh words such as cock or cunt or things like that, they find them offensive. And then other people like to use medical terms such as penis or scrotum, things like that. So you have to find a balance what works for you. For me, if I'm writing a medical uh, love story, I may uh, use some medical terms or I may play with the language in a way that um, it's medical based, but you get a um, you get the feeling of what I'm trying to say and you understand the anatomy parts that I'm uh, I'm talking about.